Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Hinckley. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about lines in the coordinate plane, specifically parallel and perpendicular lines. So this first postulate is talking about slopes of parallel lines. In a coordinate plane, lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. And so think about that. That should make sense to you because they will never intersect and they'll always be running in the same direction. So they should have the same slope. For perpendicular lines, two lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is negative one, meaning the slopes relationship is that they be the opposite sign and the reciprocal of one another. Consider this example where I draw a line that has a rise over run of one over three. So it has a slope of one third. And then I draw another line that has a rise over run of negative three over one. In other words, it has a slope of negative three. The product of those two numbers is negative one, and those are opposite reciprocals of one another, which means those lines in the coordinate plane would be perpendicular. Okay, let's take a look at this first example. In the picture, we have three lines and we're trying to find the slope of each line and then determine if any of the lines are parallel to each other. So all we have to do is calculate the slope by doing the change in y over the change in x. In other words, just subtracting the y coordinates and then subtracting the x coordinates and then calculating their ratio. And so when we start with that green line on the left, so that's line K3, you calculate the slope by taking the x and y coordinate on top, negative 6, 5, and the x and y coordinate there shown on the bottom, negative 4, 0, and just calculate the rise over run or the change in y over the change in x. So we can see that the slope of that green line, k3, is negative 5 halves. So let's do the same thing to calculate the slope for the red and the blue line, k2 and k1, and just compare the slopes. Notice that the slope of k3 and k2 were both negative 5 halves, which means those two lines are indeed parallel. However, the blue line had a slope of negative 3, so that blue line is not parallel with the green and red line. So we would just conclude that k2 is parallel to k3. Let's look at another example. This time we're going to determine if the lines are perpendicular to one another by calculating their slopes and then comparing. So first, if you calculate the slope of the red line, AC, you'll get a slope of positive two. And next we wanna calculate the slope of the blue line, line DB or line BD. And in doing this, you end up getting a slope of negative one half. So when you compare the relationship of those two slopes, their product equals negative one. In other words, they are opposite reciprocals of each other. So we can verify that line AC is in fact perpendicular with line DB. In the last two examples, we're going to write equations of lines. So you have to remember from algebra one how to write linear equations. So just to recap, if you want to write a linear equation in slope intercept form, you would write it as y equals mx plus b. And the m represents the slope, the b represents the y intercept. If you want to write the equation of a line in point slope form, if you're given a point and a slope, that form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So in this problem, it's going to be advantageous to use point slope form to write our linear equation. So the problem is asking us to write an equation of a line parallel to the line P, given that I highlighted in blue, passing through the point three comma two. So first of all, we know the slope of that line is negative one third because it's written in slope intercept form. We know that parallel lines have to have the same slope so that's the slope that we're going to use in our linear equation for the new line. We also know that we're given the coordinate three, two, so we're simply going to substitute in 
x equals 3 and y equals 2 for this equation. After we distribute and simplify and put this in slope intercept form, we end up with an equation of y equals negative one third x plus three. So this is your equation parallel to line P given at the beginning of the problem. Meaning if we were to graph both of those equations on a coordinate plane, they would be exactly parallel to one another. All right, in this last example, we're given the equation of line Q, and we need to write an equation of a line perpendicular to line Q, passing through the point four zero. Notice the slope of line Q is negative two. We know that because it's written in slope intercept form. So the perpendicular slope would be one half because that's the opposite sign reciprocal. So the equation of our line using point slope form would simply be Y minus zero equals the slope one half times x minus four. If you distribute the one half and simplify and put this in slope intercept form, we get the equation y equals one half x minus two. So that would be the equation of the line that would be perpendicular to line q. So if you were to draw these lines on a coordinate plane, they would in fact end up being perpendicular and meeting at 90 degrees at their intersection. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.